Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn, Invest, Grow show. Uh, I'm Tae Kim. Uh, joining me as usual is Adam Levine. Hi everyone. We're so passionate about real estate as to discuss a relevant topic every week uh, in the hopes of giving you some knowledge uh, and helping real estate investing. Uh, if you ask me, today's topic is among the most critical uh, when it comes to passive real estate investing. Uh, and one of my favorites too, uh, betting the sponsors. Uh, I'm sure Adam is uh, super excited about this topic as he wrote a, a blueprint on how to vet the sponsors. And he's going to share his personal experience and the invaluable lesson he learned along the way. Uh, first things first, uh, why don't we discuss uh, what a sponsor is? Uh, in effect, they are uh, quarterbacks in football playing a pivotal role in real estate investing. Uh, they are responsible for uh, finding, acquiring, managing, and uh, ultimately the selling the property on behalf of the partnership. Uh, they also uh, responsible for aggregating capital from uh, investors and signing their names on all related legal documents as well. Uh, it's often said that uh, good sponsor can turn a bad deal into the good one, uh, but a bad sponsor can ruin the great deal altogether. Uh, we often feel many investors seem to be searching more actively for deals to invest in uh, rather than sponsors to invest with. Uh, this is to approach the investment decision kind of backward. Uh, it's like uh, getting a flight because you are impressed with the airplane uh, without considering a pilot's experience and track record. Uh, if you invest with a competent, trustworthy sponsor, you can bypass finding deals because they tend to bring good deals for you. Uh, once you find great sponsor to invest with, you can then narrow your research to simply vetting the opportunity they present to you. Uh, at the end of the day, you need not chase too many deals nor too many sponsors. Uh, that being said, hey, hey Adam, so being an author of our blueprint about vetting the sponsors, would you be able to share your personal story and what motivated you to create this blueprint? Absolutely. Now, this is something I'm very passionate about. What really motivated, what really motivated me to create this blueprint is something of a personal experience that happened with my father. My father, um, as I mentioned in previous um, uh, uh, videos, he's a retired dentist, did very well for himself as in private practice, started out actively investing, and then later on started passively investing. One of the things is, is that as a, a high income earner, people tend to ask for money. There's always someone that's asking for a loan or some type of investment because, hey, you have that as a as some as a doctor tends to do very well for themselves financially. So they're prime targets for um, good investments that may come, and also investment schemes or scams. In this case, it ended up being something so simple. I had the I created this blueprint. And I'm going to talk about one thing in that blueprint that could have saved my father $250,000. It's so simple. And he didn't even think of it. And really what kept him from thinking of anything was trust. And we were dealing with a con artist that became friendly with my father. He became friendly through another business relationship. This guy saw my father as, as a good person saw him as someone that he knew that he could win his trust and eventually take from him. And that's what ended up happening. I, mean, I remember, you know, my father's like, Adam, do you want to go to a UConn game? Uh, because this, this person, he invited me. I'm like, sure. So we went, it was the crazy thing. It was like a weekend. We went to Boston. We went out to dinner. Then we went, then this guy, he has a daughter that went to UConn. My father's, uh, my father went to the UConn as well. And we drove around campus and we went to, uh, I believe they were playing Boston actually. Yeah, so we went to, actually mm -hmm. went to, uh, uh, yeah, went to the, the stadium in Boston. Um, it was, uh, what's the name of it? 
stadium. Um, drawing a blank on it, but we were there, and and we saw UConn play uh, uh, Boston uh, BU, and um, it was you know another business partner. He brought his son, so you're thinking these are family men. You're thinking like they're good people. They're not gonna ever harm you, and really, you know, it. It, it really came down to it where my father really started to really trust this person. Didn't think twice about, you know, anything, you know. So this guy knew he won my father's trust over. And what ended up happening was um, my father's like, Adam, you know, I'm thinking about investing with, with this person and uh, he has this opportunity. And I'm like, what do you mean? You know, can you tell me more about it? He said, how about you call him? So I, I spoke to him and I'm like, what are you trying to do? And he started talking to me and I'm like, Right away, like the, the, the alarm, like the, something I, I didn't feel comfortable. I told my father that I did not feel comfortable. So how about this? How about you come to yeah. the house? He's going to be there. And, and right away, I'm trying to tell my father, like, look, I think you should look into this more before you jump into it. And this person is promising my father these high returns and, and, and like, you know, talking about how, like, he has some another partner that's going to be, uh, a financial partner as well, and uh, that he is banking relationships to get the best terms and uh, a whole lot of other stuff. It turns out it was all not true. It turns out that nothing this guy was saying was true. And mm. I warned my father about it, but you know, my father really trusted him. And, 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 uh, but the one thing my father could have done, which would have saved the $250,000, and this is something I have in my blueprint, is a background check. Something so simple as a background check. <laughs> and you want, and another, I remember I looked at this guy's background. I started looking into it, and I saw he had other judgments. He, this guy, his house was getting, take, was getting taken back from, by the bank. Uh, he had cars repossessed. He owed other people money. Wow. This guy was a mess. A, a cook. Someone you want to run for the hills from. And my father would have saved twenty fifty thousand dollars if he would have did that. And what's interesting enough is that last week, Tay, as you remember, we had that um, mm -hmm. we had that uh, webinar with Daniel Edry with our because we have the mastermind, the AMG, and we and the, the topic was how to evaluate a sponsor, vetting sponsors. Daniel said the first thing he does is back on Jack. Okay. It's so simple, and it just. So really what motivates me to create this blueprint, to get on here with you, Tay, to mm -hmm. help others is the struggles that we went through, my father went through, and I just don't want to see other people go through, I don't want to see mm -hmm. any other buddy go through the same pain as us. The good thing is my father, he's not mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the corner of the, of the sidewalk with a tin cup, he's okay, you know? So the silver lining is now he knows better, now he actually, asked me questions and, and listens to me, you know, I'm not saying he, yeah. he, my father's very smart, but smart people make bad decisions. Smart people get taken by con artists. It happens all the time. You know, you, when you trust someone, you let your guard down. That's what he did. He let his guard down. He really trusted yeah. this person. And on a handshake, he thought this person's going to do the right thing. So the con, so business decisions went out the way, like he wasn't thinking, business he was thinking i trust this guy as like a friend but but really you know if you if you would have done that one little thing as a background check just to safeguard himself he would have un, he would have uncovered th this and and would have saved himself so investors that are listening that's the first thing you do that's in my uh blueprint that i created and there's a lot more in there as well of other steps you could take and what you could do is, you know, please, you know, we want to spread this message with other investors. You could like, share, and there's going to be a link where you could actually click on it and we're giving away that blueprint for free to you. And this is going to be the start of other stuff that we're putting together to eventually we're going to, we're going to um, have an ebook ready as well. And that's really, that's really, uh, that's it. You know, that's the first thing you can do. And in the, in that blueprint, there'll be, there's more as well. And we could, we could touch on that. So if you have any questions, 
let us know, you know, let us know what we could um, help with. And one thing I want to, uh, I want to clarify when I say a background check, you know, um, yes, you could Google things, but there's services out there that, that um, mm-hmm. they'll, they'll pull up a whole comp- a, a whole comprehensive report on that individual you're looking into. You know, you see their social, their name, and it'll pull up everything for you. It's very simple. Um, as a lender, we do that. because I have, a, I have the, the, the lending company as well. And the first thing we do before we ever, um, I mean, the first thing we do is a, an application comes in, we have them sign a credit release form. It's permission for us to run their credit and background. That's the first thing we do. Certain things will, like, there's always going to be something, you know, especially if you're in the business long enough, there may be a lawsuit, but ask questions like, what's going on here? Maybe there's Mm-mm. something where they got into a fight years ago when they're uh, a teen, like a kid, you know, in their 20s. Like, there's always something, but, there's, but then you have a letter of explanation. They'll tell you what happened. Then you make a judgment. Okay, well, he's young. He didn't know about it. Like, maybe he made a mistake. People make mistakes. But obviously, if it's something criminal where the person, like, has judgments against them because, or, or not, not say that's always criminal, but in this case with this guy, he was taking money from people. Um, he was just a, a mess. And, uh, you know, you could make common sense uh, uh, decisions based upon what you uncover when you run that. And, uh, hey, does that make sense to you, what, what I'm explaining? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, thank you very much for sharing your personal experience and uh, taking a step to actually create this blueprint so that the like, investor can a uh, valuable lesson from you uh, secondhand and then uh, they can really get started on uh, betting the sponsor, which is kind of like a f- first step uh, to get get into the real estate investing. So, yeah, I mean, it's um, truly mind blowing that uh, that guy really won over your father's heart just like that i kind of feel lucky that i haven't met the, uh, such a guy uh in my life there's but more than that there, I mean, there are different. much more that go go watch american <laughs> greed on cnbc these people are everywhere and that and 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 what yeah. i see is you know it's anybody can get anybody could become a victim anybody it doesn't matter how smart you are yeah because my father's a doctor he graduated from upenn that those cool. I mean, he very successful, very smart. But when when you trust someone, your judgment, right. you don't use the right judgment, and that's what happened. He built tr- my father, like he built my father's trust in him, and that's what ended up happening. But you know what? Wow. It's not going to happen again. I tell you that, and it ain't going to happen yeah. with us, you know, because I, 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 you know. I, 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 um, you learn from it, you know, it's, and, and, and that's really what it comes down to. And I, hopefully people that are listening, you're not going to run to that same problem that we went through or my, or my father for, you know, uh, and I think that's the first step. And even for any type of investor, you can have high net worth investors. You could have someone that's just starting out. It could be anybody, you know? Um, I mean, I've heard stories where people invest, and that's their last dollars. I mean, they're investing everything, you know, a few million bucks, and they, and then it turns out to be a Ponzi scheme. I met someone that went through this like last year, and it's really sad. And um, so these, they're everywhere. So our mission is to help people um, avoid these uh, maybe inexperienced sponsors. Not everybody is a scam artist, there's also inexperienced sponsors or the scam artists. And we want to help everybody. You know, uh, we want to help the beginners, even the the more sophisticated and even institutional investors, because our specialty is vetting and vetting the sponsor and the actual underlying uh, deal itself and and putting things together. Um, So that's what we specialize in. Um, My I believe that we have the we do have the credentials that the masters in real estate. Uh, Drexel, your CFA, CPA, so we're more than qualified to do this uh, on a very high level. And please, if you have any, if you need anything, you know, feel free to reach out. We're always here to 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 be of service to to the community, to the investor community. And that's it, you know. So until next time, you know, uh, we'll you know put 
comments down below. Let us know if you need anything. Uh, if you have another question regarding vetting um, or whatever it is, or, or, there, or a topic that you want us to go over, you know, just just share it. Uh, write a comment down below, and we'll we'll, we'll respond to that. And uh, we'll look forward to um, to the next video. Until then, uh, happy investing. Yeah. Happy investing, everyone. Take care. Take care.